inheritance because we go through exactly what Christ goes through. If you ain't going through no pain, there ain't no gain. Huh? I don't know where you get your blessing from or you don't have no testimony. I don't want nothing I do out of self motive and self everything I did it. I want what God has for me with a testimony saying I've been through this and I knew this car came because but God, hallelujah, this baby came, the doctor said I wouldn't have none, I lost two, but God, hallelujah, my healing came, not by herbal medicine, but God, I want everything that I've got on it, hallelujah, I don't want nothing done out of my own self, anything I get by my own self, obtained by my own works, I have to maintain it, and the scripture tells me that this access to sonship is not by works, but by faith, but by faith, but by faith. So if I'm not getting access to, to the things of God by faith, I don't want it. Hallelujah. If you're not coming with a test, you're not coming with a price after pay, you're not coming with some trials, I don't want it because it says I identify with him indeed as sharing his suffering so that we may also share in his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you don't have to envy folk and covet folk. Because as we said earlier, when we started the teaching, Genesis chapter 4, Abel's offering was accepted because his ways please God. Hallelujah. When you have access to sonship, you do everything to strive to please God. And if you please God, hallelujah, you did the, the blessing is unsurmountable. The blessing is limitless. Take your eyes off men. Take your eyes off what you're going through and look ahead because greater is ahead. Take your eyes off men. Take your eyes off what you're going through and look ahead because greater is ahead. Hallelujah. Take your eyes off how people treat you and handle you and remember that when you wake up in the morning tomorrow, say, What's next, Papa? What's next? Uh, honey, because his spirit touches your spirit and confirm who you really are. Uh, religion not going to help you, baby. You need a divine encounter with the Holy Ghost. Uh, knowing that you will touch him. He will touch you. And you will know who you are. You will know who you are. Uh, and whose you are. Uh, and where you are going. Uh, hallelujah. Somebody said destiny. Destiny is in sonship. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because we go through exactly what Christ go through. This unbelievable inheritance we have access to through sonship. If we go through hard times with him, the verse says, this version says, then we are certainly going to go through the good times with him. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you're going through hard times right now, hold up. Hold on and say when you wake up each morning, hallelujah, I'm adventurously expecting a miracle. I'm adventurously expecting a a breakthrough. I'm adventurously expecting a, a turnaround. I'm adventurously expecting my divine helpers to come. I'm adventurously expecting a, a change in my life. I'm adventurously expecting a, a greater dimension spiritually in God. All you gotta do is say, hey, daddy, what's next? What's next, papa? Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. For he's worthy of all the glory. Hallelujah. We have access uh, to the throne of God. Uh, hallelujah. Through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, 